and it ain't this flower that's in my ear. This has all the bells and whistles. We're gonna get right into this. This portion of the bob filter. At the end of this video, I'm gonna reveal. Right there is the intake. This is the only outdoor pond on YouTube that is being powered. But look how beautiful the koi are. So I'm about to show you guys something that's gonna blow you away. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy, back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. Now, on this channel, we talk about everything aquatics. As you can see right behind me, a bunch of boulders. You got some weapons of destruction right there in the background. Uh, that's a lot of work that I've been doing on preparing Tiki Falls 4.0. Now this video isn't about Tiki Falls, it is actually about the above ground pond. Like I said in a previous video, we're gonna get right into this, all the specs on the above ground pond. People wanna know how it's being filtered, people wanna know oh, what kind of pump I use, uh, just the whole setup. We're gonna break it down and um, I got a little treat for you. I gotta show you guys what's actually inside there. But before I do show you guys, why don't you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell, it's a notification bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just gonna let you know when I upload a new video and then you're part of my ohana, okay? And that's where you wanna be in this world is part of my ohana. Also, before I forget my ohana, at the end of this video, I'm gonna reveal who won the custom Hawaiian Fish Keeper Island Silver Crown. In a video, I said if this video gets 350 likes, I'm gonna actually do a giveaway and give away my signature custom Island Silver Crown. It is so nice. Actually, let me just show you a picture of it right there. You see it? Boom, now it's gone. Yeah, it's an awesome crown. I am gonna reveal who won that at the end of this video? So stay tuned, okay? Let me show you the above ground pond. Let's go. Well, my ohana, here it is. Look at the koi. I managed to catch every single koi in Tiki Falls and put it in the above ground pond. Now, the reason why is because I'm gonna start slowly doing construction on Tiki Falls, which is my below ground pond that I did. I'm actually making it bigger and I'm gonna do a video on that too as well. Uh, but the fish in here are so awesome. I'm telling you, it makes you appreciate your fish just a little bit more because we're a lot closer to them. And uh, they're getting used to their new home. Now this pond, so you know, is, I guess you can say from this ledge to that ledge, is a little over eight feet. Now, I did the measurements in the inside where it really matters, that's the water. So it's about a little over seven feet from here to here, and it's uh, almost six feet wide from here to here. And the guesstimation for gallons, it's about uh, 360 gallons. Now, as we get closer to the pond, these guys might get a little sketchy, but look how beautiful the koi are. Oh, it's so awesome, so awesome. You can see the two little, uh, Shubunkin goldfish. Oh, look it. There's Daredevil right there. Has no idea what's going on because he is totally blind. He was born with no eyes. And if I can get a really good close up of him, guys, you will trip out. He's actually kind of a channel favorite. He's turning out to be more popular than Big, my Oscar, and Zeus, my uh, Ocelaris peacock bass. Yeah, he's totally blind, born with no eyes. Isn't he cool looking? He gets around, you know, he navigates through the water, he eats like a horse. Uh, so the inside of this pond, I have a couple tunnels here. Here's one, just something for the fish to go through so they feel a little safe. I've got a really big bag of media here and another cave, I guess you can say. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much uh, it. Now this piece right here where the waterfall spillway is coming out is a bog filter that my boy Dennis made. It's a beautiful bog filter and I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. Oh yeah, check out the bonsai tree. My bonsai tree is doing great too as well. Got a couple tiki's. I've been slowly breaking down Tiki Falls 3.0 so you'll see a lot of the fixtures here. There's another tiki down over here. And uh, Whew, man, I can't wait to get into this. Now, if you look down in the corner, I don't know if you guys can see it uh, because of the reflection, but that is the intake. That's where the water is getting sucked into. And then obviously the water comes out of this waterfall spillway back into 
the pot. I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on in this bog filter. There it is right there. That is the intake. Water's being sucked in through that hole there. And let me actually move this beautiful bonsai tree. All right, so now that we got the bonsai tree moved, underneath this piece of slate that I have covering this portion of the bog filter is actually where all the magic happens. So down below, that is where the water's coming out. And you can see it runs through this sponge. This little section here is just for the water to gather and it actually goes underneath. There's a gap about an inch down below at the bottom of this and it runs underneath a series of crates full of gravel and lava rock. The water rises through all that, filtering any other particles and the plants are planted into the gravel which is sucking all those nutrients out of the water to make it healthy for the fish. The water actually rises, shifts down to the end, and goes out the waterfall spillway back into the above ground pond. As you can see this angle, all the fish, ooh, look at the shoe bunkins right there, hanging out in one shot. And I actually was able to net some of the gold cloud minnows and the white cloud minnows. I didn't get them all, but I'm gonna have to, you know, go back in and once I start to slowly break down Tiki Falls 3.0, hopefully I can get all the fish. There's still some fish in Tiki Falls though. I have um, Curly, Larry, and Moe, the Sarasa goldfish that I have to get out of there. And uh, believe it or not, he's been hard to catch, is um, my Black Oranda goldfish. Yeah. I don't know why, he's just super hard to catch. He's got, he's got Tiki Falls down. He knows where to go, where to hide, where I can get him, where I can't get him, and he's just sneaky like that. So uh, let's go ahead and break down a little bit more internally about this, especially the pump. People wanna know what I'm using that's pumping this water and how it works. For those of you that know me, I am a CJ guy. CJ is one of my sponsors. So you already know I'm gonna actually have a CJ pump on this bad boy. This is the Synchra SDC 6.0. As you see, the max US gallons is 1,450 US gallons per hour it can pump. That's when it's maxed out. I am definitely not maxing it out. As you can see, the height max is 11.5 feet and the watts is 40 watts at full speed full speed is super important to know because i'm not using this pump at full speed you talk about a pump that's like on a different level this is the one the synchro sdc as you can see here it has a five year warranty guys five year guarantee that is huge it's a three year warranty plus two years with the online registration. That is five years of worry free. I love CJ products. They come with a great warranty. Uh, the customer service is excellent and uh, you get what you pay for. Let me just tell you, I'm telling you guys, you get a CJ product and you're gonna fall in love with them. I'm gonna show you guys how this works. It comes with an app that you download to your smartphone. I'm telling you, this has all the bells and whistles. I'm gonna show you how it works. Let me actually show you where this pump is. All right, my Ohana, so as we come down under the bog filter is where we have this pump mounted. You can see it right there, pretty awesome. Right there is the intake, so the water's being sucked out through that PVC pipe, down right into the pump, and then you can see the PVC pipe goes up, does an L, and it goes right back up under the bog filter, and that's where the water's coming out. It goes through the series of sponges, the gravel, and it goes right out back into the above ground pond. This is it, really simple, how we have it all glued together, but uh, yeah, we're just running the PVC pipe through the pump, and this is the 6.0. There's a 7.0 and a 9.0. This thing is awesome, reliable, dependable, and my boy Dennis made a shelf for it down there. As you can see, it's sitting on that shelf. It's uh, underneath the bog, as you can see, so it's protected from the elements, the rain. 
uh, he mounted the remote right there. As you can see, the remote is on. So it's super easy to get to. I can just grab it here. It's all on a magnet. As you can see, boom, there it is. A little dusty, a little dusty, but it just goes, hooks up right back there. Really cool and convenient. Uh, yeah, my boy, man, when he mounted this and, and had this idea, he, he took it to the next level. Now, Ohana, let's keep it real. I'm pretty sure this is the only outdoor pawn on YouTube that is being powered by a Siche Synchra SDC. I mean, go ahead, Ohana, go look it up on YouTube. See if you can find anybody with an outdoor pawn that's being powered by a Siche Synchra SDC. You won't. This is the only channel. So you guys should be honored because I'm introducing to you something that has never been seen on YouTube. You know how they always say that. Nah, but all kidding aside, I know I'm probably not the first to have an outdoor pond being ran by a CJ Synchra. I know this, all right? Just people always say that, so I just wanted to be cool and say it too, you know? Now, I also do get a lot of comments uh, on how I do water changes on the above ground pond. Super simple. Check it out. So this is how I actually figure out how many gallons I'm actually putting in the above ground pond when I do a water change. I take my hose, I have it right there on full mode, and I go ahead and put a timer on it, and... And time. As you can see, right here at the brim is five gallons. This is a five gallon Home Depot bucket. And if you look at the time, so I just did the simple math, rounded it up to two minutes. Two minutes for five gallons. So if I run this hose in the above ground pond, I will be actually putting in 100 gallons in 40 minutes. So if I wanted to do like 150 gallons, that would be an hour. Just run this hose in the above ground pond and I will put 150 gallons of fresh water in the above ground pond. Pretty simple. So as I'm filling up the above ground pond, if you look right behind the cascade here, the waterfall cascade, you see it right next to Daredevil. Look at my blind shoe bunking goldfish cruising around. Anyways, right behind that cascade, that is my overflow. That is where the water drains out. So if there's heavy rain, this thing will not overfill. It'll go right out of that pipe there. Now let me show you the backside of the pond. Ooh, look at my Hawaiian ginger coming in. Ooh, this is one of the sweetest smelling tropical flowers. Here, take a smell. Mmm, so sweet. I love this flower. Anyways, if you look here, the back side of the pond, you see that hose right there? That is an inch and a half, I believe, hose. Or actually, I think it's a two inch hose. And I have it running out into the ginger let me show you the other side now if you look really good there is the end of the hose and you can actually see water coming out of it that is the overflow so i'm going to go ahead and dump that five gallons of water into the above ground pond and just let gravity take its course you know what i mean yeah it's kind of nice not having to worry about the water being overfilled in this above ground pond i just set my timer for an hour the old water gets drained out Obviously, new water is going in. At least I know, or I have a good guesstimate of how many gallons I'm actually putting in this above ground pond when I do a water change. It makes it simple. And because I'm not on a well, I have to dechlorinate my water. And this is what I use. Aquascape, maintained for ponds, it's excellent. So I know if I'm gonna put in 150 gallons of water, I give this two pumps just for uh, insurance. Each pump is for 100 gallons. So this is like a super concentrated mix. And uh, it's great. I love it. I've been using it for Tiki Falls. Now for the above ground pond. Just to give you guys a heads up. Aquascape, maintained for ponds. Excellent. All right, my Ohana, so I'm about to show you guys something that's gonna blow you away. And it ain't this flower that's in my ear. Just so you guys know, Hawaiian custom, you have it in your left ear, you're married or you're taken. If you wear it in your right ear, you can get freaky. <laughs> So be careful what ear you put your flower in, okay? All right, so you guys ready to see some next level stuff here? Now, I'm gonna show you what the CJ Synchra SDC 6.0 can do. You can actually operate it from your phone wirelessly anywhere in the world. Let's go check out the app. 
This is crazy. Watch. All right, my ohana. So here's my phone. You're going to first go to your app store on your smartphone and download the CJ Control Utilities app. As you can see, see control. You see what they did right there? You can control all of CJ products with this app. So go ahead and download the app and I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, my ohana. Now, once you downloaded the app, you go ahead and pull it up. And this is what it looks like. It says my devices at the top and it says above ground pawn. Now you customize all that stuff and it even says what it is. It's the Synchro SDC 6.0. You also can have multiple devices and you can control them all by this one app, which is so cool. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click onto the device that you want to go to, which is this right here. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is the app once you open it up. Now, the cool thing is, is if you ever lose a Wi-Fi connection or the power goes out in your house, it'll send you, yeah, a notification. It'll let you know, hey, power went out, or in this case, the Wi-Fi went out. Don't panic. The pump doesn't stop pumping. It still pumps. Um, it's just letting you know that the Wi-Fi went out. And the cool thing about it is it controls your temperature, or you can kind of see the temperature of your water. It's got a sensor in the pump. And if you look at the top there, it says 76 degrees. That's what my water temperature is at. Now, if I click the 76 degrees, it gives me a little chart here. Those red lines at the top, at the bottom, are what I personally set the temperature at so it'll send me a notification if the temperature drops below 68 or if the temperature goes above 88 degrees it's really cool especially when you have an outdoor pond and this is the last seven days it's just showing me the temperature of the water so i can see uh, how it fluctuates throughout the day and night super cool feature especially when it's an outdoor pond and uh yeah it has a, a temperature sensor in the pump which is so cool now another cool thing that this thing has is at the bottom left is eco that stands for economical right so it's basically once you hit that button it'll lower your motor down to 46 percent so it's going to run your motor at 46 percent so it shaves it saves you money now it also has a pause button at the bottom right next to the eco button that'll just pause the pump if you want to do some maintenance on it you can actually turn it off This is the mode button. Now there's six different modes. I have it in no mode. I really don't use the mode uh, at all. I just need it to pump water. Um, and then the bottom right is a program. Now I set my actual SDC uh, with a, a certain program. So it, as you can see the time from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. It's running at 27% which the fish are usually sleeping. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's running at 80% and at 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. It is running at 48%. So I just kind of set it at that for me. I never run this full speed. As you can tell, it's the highest I'll ever run it is 80%. That's the full. So at the very top or 81%, I should say. 81% at the very top. And then it has 76.6 .6 degrees. It's reading the temperature, which is awesome. This thing is so great. Man, CJ knocked it out the park with this one. All right, my Ohana, so I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial on the CJ Synchra SDC 6.0. Uh, this pump is amazing. All the bells and whistles, Wi-Fi. I mean, I don't even know what to say. CJ is taking it to a whole nother level. Shout out to CJ, shout out to Team CJ, and go check them out on Instagram. Give them a follow. All of their links down in the description below. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, the giveaway of the custom Island Silver Crown. The bill's got the fish scales on it too. Oh, it's a beautiful crown. Anyways, it was so hard to choose. First off, I just wanna say I appreciate everybody who participated. Uh, the comments were overwhelming, I was humbled. Uh, they touched my heart, every one of them. Um, so much love, so much aloha spirit, which I preach on this channel. My ohana, you guys got that aloha spirit. I just appreciate all the comments. I wish I had a hundred crowns to give away to you guys, but I only have one. So without further ado, I'm just here to announce that this crown goes to Fish Freak. It's right there. Fish Freak, check it out. You got 24 hours, okay, starting now. So get a hold of me. You gotta message me so I can ship this out to you. Now, if he doesn't get in contact with me within 24 hours, Ohana, this crown is going up for grabs and I'm gonna pick somebody else on the next video, okay? So other than that, keep your heads up, guys. Live that aloha spirit and I will see you guys on the next video. Fish Freak, you got 24 hours. Game's on. Much love and aloha. Oh,